Your Excellencies, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, good morning, everyone. It is my great privilege to be here today to formally announce the completion and handover of the Solar Geysers for Government Medical Clinics project. Yesterday, we completed the 92nd and last installation of a solar water hot water station. This is a project that was delivered on time, on budget, two specifications with a high quality European product solution that actually works as promised and will continue to work for many years to come. The project consisted of installing a solar water, hot water station at every single government medical clinic in the kingdom of Eswatini free of charge. Prior to the project, no clinic had hot water for patients to use and 82% of clinics had no hot water at all. Now, 100% of clinics have hot water facilities. The project benefits 10,000 people per day. It is no exaggeration to say that this project has improved health and hygiene outcomes for the entire country. The Fraser Solar Frasium Energy Group is neither a charity nor an NGO. We are a fully private, for-profit commercial entity, but we believe in a new approach for foreign investment characterized by a kind heart, an altruistic nature, and a core belief in helping the communities in which we operate. We believe that this is a model assistance project, private sector financial commitment, uh, boosted by foreign government aid, delivered with a commercial mindset. This approach sets an example for how development and impact can be delivered in the future, adding value, serving a need, providing a lasting solution, real and tangible benefits, and actually assisting the recipients intended. We firmly believe we have achieved these objectives with this project. We would like to give special thanks and acknowledgement to the following people, without whose help and support this project would not have eventuated or been successful. The late Prime Minister Ambrose Glamini, Acting Prime Minister Temba Masukum, the Minister of Health Lizzie Nkosi, the Minister of Commerce Mankoba Kumalam, Principal Secretary of Health Dr. Simon Dwane, the Chief Executive Officer of the National Disaster Management Authority Russell Glamini, and the many, many officials in the Ministry of Health and Ministry of Commerce who went the extra mile to, to help with this project.